The World Bank predicts that Nigerians will experience hunger and starvation in the coming year because vast extents of land have not been cultivated and so the expected yield will be low. But some farmers disagree with this projection, pointing out that the amount of farm produce cultivated this year will significantly address the sharp increase in the prices of foodstuffs despite all odds. While this may be good news, farmers are blaming high cost of farm inputs and insecurity as constraining their efforts to maintain the tide. There was a lot of focus on agriculture and there was a lot of improvement in uh, production of crops, particularly food crops. You know, we, I don't have the statistics, but it is obvious there is an improvement, particularly with regards to rice and maize. So the country has been able to produce a lot of the food that we eat. At least that is uh, commendable. Stakeholders are saying sufficient food and cash crops would have been produced if government had done enough to provide incentives and enable an environment for agriculture to thrive. This is coming even as governments maintained the claims that they have made sufficient provisions for the sector in their budgetary allocations. The farmers are apparently blaming the government for deliberately exposing them to the sharp practices of those who produce and sell adulterated farm inputs, which they believed is dangerous to plants and human health. It is very important that genuine farm inputs are supplied to farmers who are now at the mercy of touts and dubious merchants who polluted markets with adulterated farm inputs. On the other side of the coin, many farmers across Kazno State have abandoned their farms for the fear of incessant terrorist attacks. Any attempt to go to farm means you are endangering yourself and exposing your life to danger. If you are lucky enough, your family will be left with no option than to sell your entire farmland and farm produce to pay ransom for you to regain freedom from the hands of your abductors. Farmers are appreciating the current onslaught on the criminals and their collaborators by the security operatives. They want this tempo sustained, expressing the belief that this will provide the enabling environment for agricultural activities to thrive. Two months deep into the season, if security is restored on the farms, projections of hunger in the country will not come to pass.